Welcome to the EdgeSmart YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about database system applications. So, let us start with what is database system. Now, as the name indicates, we here deal with the collection of interrelated data and also some programs in order to maintain the data that we have been collecting. So, a DBMS is simply a data plus programs. Now this data is interrelated that means the relevant data regarding a certain concept has been collected and we also collect some programs in order to maintain this data. To handle the data we contain in it has some programs. So this is basically a DBMS. Is. We have some data and the programs to handle the data. This is about DBMS. So with the various advantages of DBMS over file system we choose DBMS in wide ranges of areas today. And this might be our accounting, manufacturing industry, banking, uh, universities, reservation systems, telecommunication, etc. So wherever we go, today we are using DBMS for its wide ranges of uh, advantages over file system. In our traditional file system, we cannot uh, see there is a, a, like, a problem, many, many, many concerns like um, redundancy and atomicity cannot be uh, obtained using our file system but which can be obtained using our dbms so for this reason and for the security high security and dbms so for such reasons we are choosing dbms over traditional file system now on this uh, with this various applications so why is it really required in these areas now let us see them in the accounting oh, we had employee information like in account whenever we consider accounting uh, there exists a lot of information regarding the employees, our employees and the salaries and the taxes and the financial transactions. So within the organization there could be a lot of financial transactions and the salaries of their employees, workers, uh, salaries has to be uh, taken and the record has to be keeping and then we need to have the information of each and every worker of this organization and also the taxes that they are going to pay for that they are going to pay the payroll taxes will also be need to be considered in accounting when we come to the manufacturing industry we here we need to maintain a record of customer the products and the purchase so our customers data has to be collected and the products that we are going to design and the some of the requirements that we are going to purchase for to in order to develop the product so this the data has to be recorded and then the supply chain and tracking production so what is the supply going on how is the supply and how is the demand for that and that need to be taken care and we need to track the production tracking in the sense we need to have a control and we need to uh, have something like a grip on what is going on we need to have a time uh, data regarding a particular reporting such kind of data has to be taken this are all required in manufacturing industry so in order to uh, collect this huge amount of data we use dbms and in banking too so in banking we have a lot of customers and they have a lot of accounts with their bank and these customers can take a lot of uh, can take uh, loans and they can also purchase credit cards and the monthly statement has to be given by the bank to their customers so this is something uh, regarding with a lot of data so in order to maintain this data and also to so if you wanted to change some data it must be reflected in all the concepts so whenever so whenever you have an id regarding a person so if you are changing some data with this id it must be reflected in all the accounts like in the customer account and his uh, traditional accounts and the loans so this data has to be re reflected if it uh, present there so such a uh, huge amount of uh, data and uh, changing the data must update recording accordingly to all the areas where it is present so with this also includes a large amount of database and we need a higher amount of security rather than our traditional file system so for this reason we choose banking uh, in banking also which is dbms coming to the universities here even we have a lot of students uh, studying in the universities and we have course academics like a course registrations we need a data to store the data so we need a database to store all this data and the accounting reflects the transactions with the, the organization and the reservation systems oh, when we say reservation systems it is the airline IRCTC and railway you know, these are the reservation systems where we can reserve the seats that we are going that prior to the reservations not just airline or railway the, today we also have come into the uh, bus transport a reservation has been come like a red bus air bus etc and then 
in order to maintain and schedule information regarding the uh, traveling we need some database in order to store that similarly in telecommunication where a lot of uh, communication networks have been coming into the picture here we need to maintain record of all the calls that we are making and the customer we need, uh, we need uh, if there exists some prepaid customers and the postpaid customers we need to track their records and we need to maintain a bills for them for the postpaid so these are some areas where a large amount of data is required and this data has to be very much secured and for this reason so for the security and the large amount of data and uh, for the uh, like atomicity and uh, for like uh, something like so for this reasons we had dbms more advantages over file system so this is the reason why we choose dbms over any other file system thank you